All right, so as it is now, we are still on the bike path on the east side of Manhattan. Looks kind of scary here, but it's not. And where we're at now is we're essentially going to approach our left turn, which will be up at 23rd Street. Now, here's a little history for you. 23 Skidoo, the saying comes from back in the day, in the early 1900s, the police would have to run people off because the wind would blow up women's skirts and they would tell the men 23 Skidoo. And the reason for that wind, for the most part, was, is because it's the one cross street in Manhattan that spans the entire city from side to side uninterrupted. So 23rd Street runs right in front of the Flatiron Building. And so we're approaching that point in which we're going to break off of this, this bike path. So up here to the right is the New York Skyport. You're not going to see it too well, but that's kind of where we're going to stop. There's going to be a gas station and such. Just past that would be the, uh, I think, the United Nations. So again, up above us is uh, FDR Drive. So it's the highway that runs around the east side of Manhattan. Again, to the right is the East River, and further to the right, of course, is Long Island, or in this case, Queensboro. During the time of the skate, we've actually skated over a toll road, a tunnel. Believe it or not, there's a tunnel that goes under the East River, and we've crossed over that tunnel. That's a toll road tunnel that people can take their vehicles through. Now, as we make this left on the 23rd Street, we're not going to go far. We're only going to go to 1st Avenue. So the avenues that go along New York are 1 through 12, but there's a number of avenues in between, too. Park, Madison, Lexington can take on different names. So here we are at 23rd Street. So if you look up that street, you can actually maneuver your camera since this is 360. That street actually goes the entire width side to side of Manhattan, uninterrupted. No buildings in the way, no parks, no other structures. I'm actually tying my skates here if you look down, trying to hurry to get caught up. I had a uh, loose tongue, and it was giving me a little bit of tongue bite. It's always a smart idea to tighten your skates, actually, during the course of skating, so that you don't get any flex, so you get nice good torque off your pushes, very stable skating. And here we are on 23rd. We're not going to go far, like I said. We're going to go right up and take a right here on 1st Avenue. So to the left of us is Alphabet City. You could have all, you could also have said to the left of us was Alphabet City as we came up that bike path at the end. And Alphabet City are you know the streets that are labeled A, B, C, etc. And that's basically in the East Village. So as we skated up that path, we the East Village was to our left. One more frame of reference. Now here's something really cool for you. At the beginning of this video, you'll notice that blue light of the Empire State Building was way ahead of us. By the time we finish this seven minute video, it will be behind us. Check it out as you go. So at this point, we've kind of reached the halfway point of the skate. We're about five miles in. And at this point, on this particular occasion, after not being on my skates as much as I had in the past, I'm starting to feel it. I, I, seem to have, I'm, I seem to be able to get short bursts of strength before I decide, or my, my body decides, it doesn't want to cooperate. And that's, that's a frustrating feeling, knowing that you've got another, well, you've got the entire second half of the skate to go. The good news is, well, not really. I mean, we're still going uphill. Most of the skate is uphill. So as much as you may have witnessed us skating up and down hills, and actually ahead of us right now on First Avenue, we're going to go up the hill, down a hill, up the hill, down a hill. These rolling hills are consistently always heading up, though. So for every time we level off the grade and start to come down even slightly, we reach our next hill going up. And again, if you haven't been to New York, you, you may not think that New York is a hilly island, but it is. 
This is First Avenue on the east side. As you can see, it seems a little metropolitan here without the burden of, uh, I guess, a, a lower class citizenship. And the funny thing is, like, lower class in New York City is not poor. <laughs> you, you can't live on this island without having bucks. Now, if you are living on, on the island of Manhattan, the, the young upward professionals, or however you want to categorize them, the youth and business, they aspire to live below 17th Street. If you can live below, you know, 14th, 17th Street in that area, uh, that's preferable right now. And I would assume that's either east side or west side, you know, whether it's Soho or the East Village, whatever, people want to be down there. And it kind of makes sense. Yeah, you, know, you the Midtown area is more of a, a true business area. And there's the Empire State Building. Kind of give that a quick look so you can get perspective. You can see we're observing one lane. You might be asking yourselves, why are we not in the bike lane? That's a $64,000 question I don't know the answer to. The, the bike lanes are better. I, I do think that some of us try to avoid them simply because of the bikes. If you kick out and your leg gets caught in a wheel, I've told the story, bike flips over you. It's a big mess, and I have personally seen it on the Hudson Parkway, far, um, Hudson Bike Path on the other side of the island. Again, there's the what, um, the Empire State Building. So if you want to sh change your view here as we're going and look left occasionally, you'll see it to our left. And that's over on Fifth Avenue. So again, we're on First. Empire's over on the Fifth, a on Fifth Avenue. So as we close out this video, just to let you know, we're heading towards Central Park and we're almost there. We're going to go through the uh, inner loop and double back to Times Square. So... Bear with me. There's more to come. There's plenty of sights to see here.